Okay, friends from my group, let me see if I, I'm going to try it. This week, I wrote out my Thursday tip, and then I'm going to do, I'm going to read it now. So, for the people that are driving and stuff, they can listen to the, the audio part of it. Okay, so Thursday tip, third tip, 923-2022. Tony Graybler, of course. How to win. Do you want to win every element of the trial? I think I can help you 100%. Let me tell you about a little secret. This is a secret about myself, Tony Gravely. I am extremely or very competitive at anything I do. I flat out want to win no matter what sport or whatever I'm doing. It could be a simple thing as playing go fish, I am going to want to win. That being said, and being involved in competitive dog sports, I know that that could be extremely difficult. Okay, now, here is a million dollar advice. Million dollar advice. And I'm gonna give you on how to win every trial. Million dollar advice on how to win every trial. Now, the one thing I'm going to say is if I'm giving you this advice here on third tip and you read it or you listen to me, you have to promise to me that you're going to follow the step-by-step -step, the advice I give you. You have to promise me you're going to follow step-by-step -step, the advice I give you. Step one, change your mindset. This is easier than done. Don't worry about the time. Stop even thinking about the time. This is no longer a competition in your thinking or mindset. This is no longer a competition in your thinking or mindset. Don't worry about the other handlers. The biggest part of changing your mindset is don't compete against the other teams. Don't even worry about them. I've heard this at the, in the parking lot. I've heard it at trials a uh, hundred times. I've heard so many people say this. Oh my gosh, so-and-so's here and their Labrador is so fast. I mean, like, it's a lab for goodness sake. Or, oh my gosh, it is that lady with the Malawa that is so fast. And that dog is really, really good. And she's showing in the same level as me, for goodness sake. Who fucking cares? Don't even think about them. That is wasted thoughts. I'm serious. That's wasted thoughts and distraction. It pulls your mind into a zone that takes you away from your mental engagement with your dog. It is also starts to predetermine that Malawa is going to have a faster time than you. Because your thought pattern is making it happen. Now. Step number two, say to yourself 10 times with your eyes closed and you envision this. I'm going to find all the hides and be successful. Envision you and your dog searching and doing awesome. Envision the judge saying, congratulations, that's a great search. Step three, this is the really important part. Put your mindset to this level, okay? I'm going to be the best partner for my dog. This is going to be the best search we, and I say we, have ever done. Your competition is now to be the best supporting handler for your dog. That's your competition, is to be the best supporting handler for your dog. Step four, every hide your dog finds, you're going to absolutely be thrilled and reward like this is the last time you get to play this sport together and truly be happy for your dog. Step five, hold on a watch and your dog search his little butt off. Enjoy every moment truly and be thankful your dog letting you hunt with them and take it as an honor you get to search with him or her. Enjoy your dog. Enjoy your dog. I don't know how to emphasize enough. 
If you follow these five steps above, I promise you will be a winner every search. Your dog will be very appreciative and you will have just as much fun and will have just as much fun in trial as they have when you're playing the game and training. P.S. Not a single ribbon can be as valuable as a search that you and your dog were in sync together and was an amazing hunting trip adventure. Very strong possibility that ribbons might be a side effect of you just flat being thankful and enjoying your dog. <laughs> PSS. For the folks that know me a little, thought of the day, did your dog show as much change on the fish tank as mine? My guy was all over it. He just couldn't seem to source it. I'm going to leave you with that, folks.